Hey, I got my Kodiak Canvas 10 in today, the 10 by 10, and I'm gonna set it up for the very first time. I really haven't even taken it out of the box yet, but hey, this is Rick from Mike and Rick Outdoors, and you know, we do everything from hunting, fishing, and camping, four wheeling, but today it's time to set up a brand new tent. So let's get to it. All right, let's look at what's in the box first. And I did order two heat shields or stove mats because Mike actually almost melted his floor. So uh, these are separate. You don't buy, this does not come with it. What comes with it though, is this bag for the tent. Then there's this holder here. And I, I think this is really for if you have a CO2 uh, detector and it goes inside the tent. So you'll see that later once I have the tent set up. Now here's the instructions. And at certain points through the video, I'll have the instructions on the screen for you. All right, so here's the tent. And then here are the poles. Now I'm gonna set this tent up as one person only. It goes better with two, but I wanna show you how to do it if you're all by yourself. So before I even get this tent unraveled, what I'm doing is looking for a really flat spot and I have a great spot here. And there are little rocks underneath here. So I'm getting rid of the ones that are gonna possibly damage my tent or make it more uncomfortable if I'm walking around inside the tent. It's not just rocks, it's little twigs. All right, let's unroll this thing. We're looking for the door first. Okay, here's the window with the window awning. So I think I have the wrong side already, but that's okay, almost always do. Okay, the door's over here, completely wrong side, 180, so I'm gonna turn it around. So these are really nice tents. So you really want to take care of them. So honestly, the best tents I've ever had. Now I'm sure there's other great tents out there and I'll be bringing those tents to you someday in other reviews. But so far these four season Kodiak canvas tents are incredible. I have another one and it's the 10 by 14 Flexbow tent. I'm gonna have a video right here on that and in the description below. Cause that's a smaller tent, it's not stove ready. Great tent though, I've used it several times and it's held up in storms really well. Check that out. All right, so we're good to go. Let's start putting the stakes down. Well, I'm jumping ahead a little bit here. Let's pull these poles out and the stakes and just see what's inside this bag. All right, what's really nice about this tent, there's not a lot of poles. Here's all of the guy ropes and the stakes are right here. So we need these stakes first. One thing that's really nice, the bags are sturdy, real nice quality. These tent stakes are solid, I mean, they're they're, they'd be hard to bend these. I guarantee you I can bend this stake, but it might be a little hard to bend it. Now there's nothing guaranteeing you that you won't hit a huge rock underneath this ground. But we're gonna find out. So let me show you this real quick. This is the piece that you can drill by hand into the ground. And then this is anchors by mightyfine.com. And these are really heavy duty screws. It's an 18 millimeter head if you're wanting the socket for it. I'm gonna have information on all of this in the description below so you know exactly what to get if you want to 
go ahead and put screws in the ground. So let's finish this off. So what you're supposed to do is set opposite corners first. So let's go ahead and set the far corner now. All right, let's pull this thing a little bit tighter. Now they say not to pull it too tight. So that's a good spot, I think, right there. There you go, four corners in the ground with a screwdriver. Okay, because I don't have more than four screws for this tent, I'm gonna have to pound the rest of these in the ground. The other screws are coming, so hopefully next time good ground, better screwdriver, you'll see all of the screws go in the ground rather than tent stakes. Now, when you are pounding these in the ground or screw them in the ground. Now, I don't think it matters as much when you screw them in the ground because it has so much more resistance on those tent screws that they're not gonna pull out of the ground very well. But when you pound a stake in the ground, put it in at a little bit of an angle. Okay, I may be rethinking my strategy on tent screws, and I'm gonna have to test this out the next time we go out to Miramonte Reservoir, late October here in about a month, because we're gonna go fishing out there. It's gonna get really cold. The ground's gonna get cold, so it's rocky there also. But we're going to then see again, what does better? Do the tent screws do better or the stakes? Because these are really strong stakes, but as you just saw, that went into the ground really easy actually a lot easier than the tent screw. Okay, so all of the corners are down and the four in the middle for this uh, tent stakes, they're all down. So now it's time to put up the ridge pole. So these, these pieces that go on either end, they have the bent section. This is the ridge pull. It's the longest of all of them. These are really easy to put together actually. While I'm at it, I'm going to put these stakes where the guy wires go at each corner they're perpendicular to each corner instead of coming off at an angle there's also a guy line on the middle of each side of the tent the tallest tallest section now there's four more stakes here either they're extras or I'm making a mistake somewhere, but we'll find out. All right, so while we're being organized, let's go get the rest of these guy lines out. These multicolored ones here, they are for each end or the tallest point of the tent. Let me just add real quick. When you put these back up, wrap them separately because it's a pain when you wrap them together and then you try to unwrap them after on their next camping trip. All right, guy line number one. And I'll tell you right now, they made it really nice. These ends that come with it, instead of having, they do have a knot right here, but instead of having to tie it 
These just hook onto the line. I'll show you how it works. It's great. Now there was a perfect amount of guy lines here, but here's a little tip for you. Always bring extra. I'll show you why. I've got some other things I want to do, some guidelines, but if there's not enough or one breaks or something happens, always have a few extras. Okay, so one thing you don't want to do is force this into, you know, the opening for this where the ridge pull goes in the canvas. You want it to be straight and you want to take it easy. You don't want to damage this tent. Now, one thing right now, that other flap is towards the middle it's going to keep that from sliding through so we're going to pull this part back so now we can get that ridge pull through okay so this is where you gotta be a little more careful here you want that strap to slide over the top exactly between these two metal pieces right there so you put it through this strap first before you insert it. Push it all the way in. Put this strap right here in between those two metal pieces, as you can see. Now this is where it is nicer to have two people. But we're not gonna raise it all the way up. And there's another little catch here that makes it easier. I'm gonna put it in this little, this pin right here, but it's gonna fall over. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna tie my guy wire to it. And then I'm gonna put the guy wire to on an angle this way. On the other side, I'm gonna angle it the other way. Now this is where I could use some advice. My daughter's really good at knots. I forgot to ask her about knots when I came out here. But if you have advice on knots, cause this is not the right knot right here, I can tell you that. Let's see if I can remember how to do the correct knot. A better knot at least. I'm gonna do a follow-up video someday to this where I'm gonna show you how to do a proper knot. That's why please leave a comment below for the best knot when you're tying a tent down because I'll tell you what, in a strong storm, I wouldn't wanna test this knot out right here. I think it'll do fine, but I don't wanna test it. So if you put the guy line directly in the middle on both sides and you raise this, it's gonna tip over to one side. So that's why on one side, we're gonna go this direction. On the other, we're gonna go the opposite direction. I'm only gonna pull it up here enough so it's staying straight, slightly bent to the other side still. Okay, so again, make sure you feed this in through this canvas strap first, because it has to go over those two metal pieces. All right, there you have it. Now I'm gonna put this right here in this little pin. Got this guy line. Again, the knot kind of sucks. I'm actually grabbing the wrong guy line. You want the multicolored line. Don't judge my knots, please. Just give me advice. So before I go get this thing all vertical, I want to put my corner pieces in. Now this one here with this window awning, it's a little different. So I'll show you that here in just a second. At least it's a little different when you put your guy line down. Now this is where you may want to be prepared a little in advance. And you want to have this knot already done. Just another little tip here. Keep your guy line close by, your mallet close by if that's what you're using and your stake. Now I'm gonna put these first stakes at an angle just to get things started. And then I'll go perpendicular after this. I'm gonna step on this guy line while I put the stake in the ground. Now 
And again, this is just temporary to get it the sides up. Okay, we're gonna put these two end pieces up or the sides. Now this one, I'm not gonna put the stake in the ground completely until I put this pole up. Because I want these guy lines to be as perpendicular as possible. Tell you what, these tents are awesome. I really have not had a better tent. So if there's another tent out there that's better than this, man, leave a comment, because I want to try them out. Now I will tell you real quick, don't put the stakes too close to the tent because what'll happen is and when you secure it, you may be way up here with this. You really don't want it to be up there. I mean, maybe halfway or so. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna secure this a little bit, maybe about three quarters of strength or tension. I'm gonna do the other side. Then we're gonna raise those center poles and we're gonna get this thing all set up. Again, I want this to be perpendicular. I want this to secure about a third of the way up maybe. All right, now before I go raise those center poles, what I really want to do is I want to secure the guy lines that are going to come off perpendicular to the front of the tent, or I should say parallel to the front of the tent. Perpendicular would be that way, parallel to the front, because when I raise this, I want it to be sturdy going both directions. All right, so parallel. About a third of the way, this is just me. This is no official advice. This is just me saying parallel, a third of the way up. Now the parallel part is their advice. The third of the way up to secure, that is my advice. Just from putting a tent up many times before or other tents like it. All right, again, I'm not gonna secure it really tight.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick before I raise the center pole, one more thing. I'm gonna take these guy lines I put up first on the corners where I put them at an angle. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in line or perpendicular with the front and back of the tent. And then I'll tighten everything up. Well, I've got all the corners staked correctly with the guy lines. And before I raise this up, I'm going to go ahead and put it about where I think it needs to be. So again, it'll just be about tightening all this up when I'm done, when I have that ridge pole line set up. Okay, now we've got everything set up. Guy lines are all where they're supposed to go. I'm gonna loosen this one up. It'll probably just come apart. And we're gonna raise this pole here to get this ridge pole up where it's supposed to go. Now there's these notches down here. Now this is holding me back. So I need to let that go. And there's, my, again, I probably need to just let that loose. Now there's, there's four little notches right here. I'm not going to put it all the way up yet. I'm going to get it up in the air. Then I'm going to go around to the other side and get it mostly up in the air. And then I'll finish going up all the way. Start going all the way up with this. All right, that's as high as that one will go. Let's take this one all the way up. Now one thing I had to do makes it easier when you want to go to a different notch. When you start to lift it, turn it, get it to the notch you want, then pull it back. At least that's what worked for me. Okay, let's start tightening all these guy lines up. Okay, so another thing, or you know, one of the last things to do is on every pole, there's a Velcro strap. So we'll go around and Velcro all these. It really does help in high winds to have this secured. Okay, so all the Velcro straps are on. 
before we go fix that awning on the side, I'm gonna go inside, open all the windows up because I wanna air it out, depending on how hot or cold it is. You may or may wanna do that, but right now it's getting to be around 70 degrees today here in Colorado. So I'm gonna air this tent out real fast. I'm, I'm gonna open all those windows up and then we'll do the, that awning. Okay, we're gonna go in the Kodiak canvas tent for the very first time. Let's check it out. We'll get the windows all rolled down. We'll look at where the vents are at, talk about it just a little bit. All right, home sweet home. First, we're gonna roll these doors up so they don't keep closing on us. Really quality construction. And I'm not just saying that. It's a great tent. Again, these Kodiak canvas tents, they have been the best that I have ever owned. There's the Kodiak canvas logo. We're going inside. And by the way, if you want the Kodiak canvas tent, you can go buy it at Bass Pro in Cabela's. You can also get it right from Kodiak Canvas themselves. All right, so you can see the stove jack, the pipe here where it comes out. I'm gonna be installing that shortly. We've got two big windows on the back, two on this side, one on this side. We got one door on the front that, does it have a window? It does not. The door does not have a window on it but there's another big window right next to it. Let's unzip all these. I just wanna show you real fast. Now there is a attachment here or strap for a pole in the center. If you were gonna be out in a lot of snow, which I will be this year, I'm going to get that center pole so it'll help with the snow loads more. On the snow loads real quick, you need to be able to clean your the snow off the tent periodically throughout the day and, and night. It'll help your tent a lot and maybe not have it you know, collapse so much, but these are meant for heavy snow loads. Just a heads up real fast. I'm 5'10", so it comes up to about four, maybe four and a half feet on the side. Plenty of room in the middle, but you do have to duck a little bit on the edges. The windows are all open, it's getting aired out in here. First time to have this open. Now I will say, make sure you open up these vents at the top. I have always left these vents open, even in 12 to 15 degree weather at night because I'm running a heater in here or I'm gonna have the stove this time. So make sure you open a vent, there's one on both ends. Okay, let's go put that window awning up. So it's really simple, but you either need to put your guy line through the straps here first before you secure it or after you secure it i didn't tie this down super tight because i'm going to take it off and i'm going to run it through here and then we're going to put it back it's super simple to put together so in this case if you do this after the fact you have to take the knot apart so i probably would do it ahead of time so what you're going to do is you're going to run this line down through the front first one and up through the second one. And now, since you have that done, now you can tie your knot again. And if you're watching this, this knot is a bad knot. I am learning all the time when I'm putting these tents together. So if you have any advice and you wanna give me a certain kind of knot to use, I would love your advice on that. Just tell me the knot type. I'll research it. Next time I come out here, I'll look more professional. All right, so now we're going to tighten up this guy line a little bit. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna pull this down. A couple ways to uh, secure it. You can pull this down where it needs to be, about where it needs to be. And then you can then tighten this up here. Before I finish tightening it all up, I'm gonna do the other side. So again, I'm letting this guy line loose a little bit. I'm gonna to have to take this knot apart. This is why, again, it's best to do this ahead of time. Maybe the next video, I'll do it better. All right, so again, you have these loops or holes at the bottom. I go down through it first, and then I'm gonna come up through it last. I'm gonna tie my knot. Beautiful knot, by the way, <laughs> for, for a uh, two-year-old. Not knocking two-year-olds, by the way. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna secure this guy line. 
at least a little bit. We're gonna tighten this up. Again, you can tighten, pull it down, and you can tighten here. What we're gonna do is I wanna get this guy line tight first. Now, again, this is where you don't wanna have the guy line too, too far up. You want it where, the secure, where it secures it to be farther down, or you'd have to then secure it above this line. Now, maybe you want to, but you know, all kinds of ways to put a tent together. So now I'm pulling this really tight. I want this tent to be very secure, tight, no wrinkles in as much as possible. All right, so that's tight. Let's go tighten this other one up over here. All right, that's really tight. Now, um, that's tight too, pulling it down, that's good. Now I can tighten that up a little more, come over here, tighten that up a little more. That's pretty snug. That's nice. Hey, I think I did a pretty good job. Well, that's all there is to setting up this Kodiak canvas tent. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos. I've got a lot more camping videos coming up. I know Mike does too, but I'm going to show you next how to put a Camp Chef stove in here, how to set up the stove pipe so it's more secure, so when there's high winds or storms, you won't be in trouble. So check that out. I'll have links in the description below for everything. All the products, I mean the tent, the you know the screwdriver I was using earlier, and maybe even a better one, and also those screws, those tent screws. You know, in some places they worked really good on this tent, and others they didn't. And I think a lot of it though has to do with that screwdriver. All right, so that's it though. Thanks for sticking with me through all of this. It's actually really easy to set this tent up. It took me a lot longer because I'm setting up different camera shots for you guys here, but it's really easy to set it up as a one person tent. You can imagine with two people, it goes a lot faster. All right, thanks for joining me here on Mike and Rick Outdoors, and we will see you back out here in the next video.